The Race 3D printers come equipped with Biltac surfaces. Now, these are great because they allow you to have solid adhesion for a wide variety of printing materials. But every now and then they can get damaged and that's when you need to replace them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. First, we have to unpack the new Biltec surface. Underneath is a sticky surface covered by a protective film that we will have to remove before putting it on the belt plate. Now first, we have to get rid of the old Biltec surface. To do that, find a corner and peel off a tiny bit of the old build tack. Then, once you have a firm grip on that, just keep pulling it off the build plate. This step does require some strength, so really put your all into it. The old build tag just goes into the trash bin. If the build plate is dirty, you can use some glass cleaner and paper towels to clean it. However, this step is optional as long as the build plate isn't seriously dirty. Now comes the actual application. First, we peel back a small corner of the protective film underneath the new Biltec surface. After we've done that, we align that corner with our built plate. And this is the important bit because we don't glue all of the surface on at once. Instead, we align this one corner and now we make sure that uh, the way we put it onto the built plate aligns not just with that one corner, but with the entire belt plate edge. Once we're satisfied, we're gonna press down that one sticky corner that we have so far. And now from underneath, we're slowly gonna pull away the rest of the protective film as we continue pressing the new surface to the belt plate. Thanks to the stiffness of the surface, there should be no trapped air bubbles underneath. Instead, everything now looks smooth and good, and we're ready to keep printing once more. All right, so we have now replaced the Biltec surface for the Pro 3 and can keep printing with it. Uh, I would say the procedure was very simple. Thanks to the stiffness of the surface, there should not be any air bubbles left underneath, and everything looks great. As I said, the cleaning step is optional. You do not need to do this, but if you somehow got the steel plate very dirty or you're worried that the build tech surface doesn't stick properly, then you can do this as well. Of course, the old uh, build tech just goes into the trash and this one goes into the printer so we can keep printing. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day, bye bye.